Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Howlet for an Hour! One with quite a few animal-themed games, I believe, as well. We're starting off today with Roxy Raccoon. This is a bit of a 3D adventure game where you play as a raccoon, and we do raccoon things. I don't really know the details of this game too well, but I can tell you that I got this key uh, voluntarily offered to me by the developer, who basically knew of my channel, knew of the fact that I played a lot of animal games, and maybe that I was furry and stuff, and would probably enjoy this game. And you know what, they're right. I'm kind of curious about this one. I don't know how good it'll be, but I, I, you know, it's, it's, you play as a raccoon. That's a good start. It's a very good start right there. So, I don't know, well, let's check it out and see what it's like. But of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do give it a like. But if you haven't, and if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. Because I'm trying to reach partner, but I need more viewers to do it. We only have 29 right now, and I need like 100 average, so, uh, <laughs> well, a 75 average, but 100 would probably be a good amount to aim for. So yeah, if you want to lurk or talk, think about coming by, because your view makes a big difference. It really does. Uh, also, we have a pretty cool Discord community, if you want to check that out. And I have a coffee link, if you want to help directly monetize my content. Links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. But, with that being said, let's get the controller out for this. I think, because I can only navigate the menu via the mouse, it looks like. Well, we'll see, but we'll see if I can use controller. I think I can, probably. Probably it's not on the menus. Oh, okay, there's a corgi and a raccoon. They're friends, I guess. Good start. <laughs> Why is there an electric guitar? Oh. Devious Donna! I'm telling you, Ryan! I'm growing tired of this world! It just isn't fun anymore! I have become too powerful! Are you talking to the rabbit? There is no one left in my league! No competition! I stole all the Pachisi tokens! Those are- are those seriously Pachisi playing pieces to the right? This curse will be my final attempt to draw on a worthy challenger! And if not, I will claim this world for my own! She has like won three trophies of evil, look at that. Oh no, bowling pins. What? <laughs> Let's just see them try to stop me now! What is going on? <laughs> no! Oh wait, oh, then the, the corgi's like, no! Don't, don't attack Darling Daisy, she's a real darling. Come on. Well, rip Darling Daisy. Ha! Pathetic! Ryan, let us leave this place! This fine must be the rabbit. <laughs> Alright. What's going on? <laughs> huh. Oh, I become possessed. That's good. Demon Raccoon activated. Alright. Nagy Nikki. This time she has gone too far! That wicked witch is obsessed with proving she is the best at everything! The, the, by the way, the dialogue is advancing on its own, so I, can't, I have to catch up. I have to like, keep up with it. <laughs> Restless Rich. It seems that because no one else is willing to compete with her, she is forcing out the competition! Which are specifically woodland creatures, aside from her, I guess. We need to get Daisy back, but it's going to be incredibly dangerous! Hits the dramatic music. Oh, camera. You okay there, bud? Dairy Dom. Luckily for us, I think that girl's more focused on playing around, and we can use that to our advantage! Nice hat, dude. <laughs> Does he have a pipe? If we focus on completing her trials and stealing her artifact, we can catch her off guard and beat her when she's weak! Dox Coon? <laughs> That's an idea. Big. Tricky Trev. Rox, we know you want to come with us to get your friend back, but you are still too young and need to be careful. You're like buff, which is a weird thing to say for a raccoon. However, you seem to have been infused with the witch's magic. While it may not know what to extent, it may prove to be advantageous. You can't come and help us, but you probably have powerful magic. Okay, cool. I think it's just some straw. Fair enough. Nice hat, all the same. Should I give him a country voice since he's chewing on some straw? I managed to open a portal using some of Donna's magic. Good for you. Think of this land as a safe haven. A sort of bridge between worlds. You seem to have mastered the magic already. You've already created realms. She'll not be able to find us here. And we can use this area to venture forth to prevent the curse from spreading even further. Okay. Boop. 
Yeah? Do, do you want me to press a button? Oh. No, okay, this is not a... Weirdly enough, this, this 3D platformer apparently doesn't work on controller. You... Really? So I just find that kind of odd, but apparently, yeah, we can't actually use the controller in this game. Odd not to have controller settings for a 3D platformer, but all right. <laughs> um, I can roll that, I guess. Right then. Mouse and keyboard 3D platformer. That feels kind of cursed to me, but all right. So what can we do? We can do uh, first person. <laughs> so we can do jump. Here's the thing, a 3D platform works better controller because then you really know your buttons. Uh, oh, I can climb tree. But it's running at it. Very good. Very good. This is how you climb tree. Uh, we can get evil by holding shift. It seems to be a demon sprint. Alright then. Uh, what else can we do? That's all I've learned so far. Alright. What's wrong with this box? Alright, it's time to do raccoon things. One moment. Aw. <laughs> I can't get in the trash! Like, push it. That giant bottle of Pepsi. I see. Alright, well, let's go play. Paradise Park. Wait, hold on. Nicky Nicky. And Wicked Witch has started to spread her curse across these lands. Thankfully, we can use this area as a safe haven and a portal between worlds. So I think we knew that already. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the park. That's Coke or non brand cola. Probably from the Dollar Store then. Oh no, she's playing soccer, the most evil of witch activities. What? <laughs> Alright, let's collect Spyro's gems. We'll return to them later. Oh, I do appreciate there's a little bit of, uh... Okay, we're not gonna mince words. This this looks a little acid flippy and a little bit, like, a little bit... I mean, it controls fine enough for mouse and keyboard 3D platforming anyways. Uh, but... It, it this definitely feels a little silly. A little, little, a little bit, little bit on the budget side as far as development goes. But... I, I do have to say... A lot of games get collectible uh, magnetism wrong, so I'm kind of impressed, actually, to see that they actually make ties very nicely. Dawn is hidden a chest deep within, these ma within this maze. She uses them as power beacons to spread her magic across the lands. Fun, we can prevent this curse from spreading. Okay. We're gonna stop the witch. Actually, you know what? We're gonna let the- we're gonna let the young raccoon do it. Immediately stop- we're immediately gonna just be lazy. Okay, thanks, NPC characters. Kind of like how they said they were gonna stop her, and then like immediately, like you know what, you should do this. Hi, I know. Keep your eye out for objects infused with magic. Who knows what powers they contain? Okay, okay, dumpster diving is a thing. This is good. It should be. Oh. Ah oh, yes. All right. I got a Hawaiian jig for picking up a hat. Awesome. <laughs> As you, as you should. When you go to the hat store, they always play a Hawaiian jig when you buy something. Um, so can I, like, wear that? What is... Let's see here. Witch Trials. I don't I don't know what those are yet, but okay. Are those, is that what I gotta do here? Like, five... Are there, yeah, there's... <laughs> I was gonna say, is there, like, five Mario Power Stars? Yeah, apparently there are five Mario Power Stars. Look at this. <laughs> let me catch... Let me go ahead and collect the non-copyright infringing... Uh, Power stars. Um, it's, it's fine. I don't know how to equip the hat, if there's a way. Oh, whatever. Maybe some sort of station for that. Soccer ball! Boom! I bet one of them involves getting this into a goal or something. I thought she kicked into space, though. Hello. Hey, you're the evil rabbit. Come here. Well, I think you're evil because you're friends with the witch, so you're gonna- you're guilty by association. Come here. Because that's a fair way to treat people. 
you know, for running in a very simple pattern, this is actually very hard to catch them. My sprint can Here's the thing. I could sprint, but only in a straight line. So it's actually kind of tricky. And if I touch a tree, I fuck up the whole run. This might require some effort. Or not. Oh, I could just cut them off. They do- they do- they are smart enough to turn around if I'm trying that, though. But I think I can still cut them off. I just need to, like... Get the right angle. I don't know. Hey, wait, what? <laughs> How dare you turn around? <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Oh, I murdered him. All right. Well, I guess he's... Fuck your pet hat, rabbit! <laughs> I ate him. <laughs> Who likes pet rabbits anyways? I actually like pet rabbits, <laughs> by the way, for those wondering. Rabbits are pretty cool. Except for when they're chewing wires. Gotta stop them from doing that. Hello, is there something on the roof of that? No. Okay. God to the spirit realm, exactly. We we yo we Yu-Gi-Oh that shit. So basically, that was Mips the rabbit. What's this? Oh, why am I now rolling? Okay, I'll take it. Hey, I guess when I'm rolling, I can uh, actually turn. That's nice. Oh shoot! I just realized I gotta pick up the coins. Let me, let me restart that. I didn't even notice the coins at first. Well, that's a very dramatic noise for failing that. Oh, shit. 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 I crashed into a bench! Oh wait, that's a quick way to reset, that's good enough. Yeah, uh, these don't magnetize. You know, the collectible that's actually on a timer to collect doesn't magnetize, okay. Guess I gotta be careful then. Gimme. Oh, I guess I got it already. Alright. <laughs> There's stuff on the lampposts. Yes, there are. Oh, look at that. I bet there's a star just for getting all the gems. Well, this is kind of a... Okay, like... This game gives me... Okay, let me, let me explain. Some games are a bit low budget, right? Some games are just... They have a low budget feel to them. But... There's still categories within the low budget game category. So, there's low budget games that... Hi, what do you want to talk about? Let me talk to this guy first. One of the witch's magic scrolls is just beyond this point. Beware, though, she has mindless mind control some of the park goers, and they are guarding it. Seek through the tall grass and bring it back to me. Okay. <laughs> is it just mind controlled? All right. What sort of detection radius? Whatever it is, it kind of sucks. Um. I'm hiding. Run! Ha! Ah. <laughs> I think I murdered them! Fuck humans! <laughs> okay? That's okay, I saved them from being mind controlled by killing them. They're not mind controlled anymore, see? We're, well, we are a murderous little raccoon, I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you, if you want to say they didn't die, then why is there a scrawled crossbow that appears when they poof? Uh, hi, what's up? What is your thing? That wicked witch has set up a series of trials across the lands for anyone who dares challenge her. Clean the Cabrera's from magic star crystals, and we can use this power of crystals. See, they're not power stars, guys. They're star crystals. That's different. It's, di it's different, guys. Ah, there we go. I knew it. The moment I saw a soccer ball, I was like, is there a soccer net? Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a football net? I am in Canada. I have to stop calling it by the stupid American name. Uh, yeah, so, yeah there you go. Okay, I'll drop it there. Anyways, what I was saying earlier, because I kind of derailed myself. So there's cheap games, right? Cheap games, low-budget games, maybe a little bit asset-flippy. They're, they're not using all assets they made themselves. They're using pre-made assets. 
uh, maybe a little bit jank here and there. Cheaper games. Those are not necessarily bad. Now, granted, on Halo for Now, we have played some cheap games that were absolutely bad and soulless, and obviously the developers were just trying to make a quick buck. I don't get that vibe from this. I get more of a charming, I don't have that much of a budget, but I wanted to make a little game kind of vibe, which is a lot more wholesome than a lot of cheap games I play. This is, you know, you know, this is, yeah, it's still a cheap game, I guess you could say, but, um, like, it's kind of development cycle, but this one actually seems to have some heart to it, so I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Nikki, stop nagging me. Oh, that's why you're called nagging, Nikki. There we go. Skull and Crossroads is visualizations this their evil magic badging, perhaps. And let's see, where am I missing some gems? No, the star is auto grab, it's kind of weird. Okay, I already got the uh Just looking for my gems. This one here. 58 to 75. Where am I missing? Oh, right, the hedge maze. That's probably where a lot of them are. Actually, the hedge maze probably leads to... Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's really disorienting. So, obviously, I've been controlling the camera this whole time. Oh, my. Uh, game? I've been controlling the camera this whole time by just moving the mouse around. The moment I enter the maze, I lose camera... I lose the ability to do that. The camera no longer is now fixed, but in a really subtle way that feels really disorienting. <laughs> like, I just lose camera control all of a sudden. Like, imagine like a first person shooter where your control is just. Oh, wait, now it's back again. What the fuck? Okay, I have it back again. What the hell? What just happened? <laughs> Was there like a little camera transitionary period where it, like wanted to pan differently in the maze, and while I was doing that, I had no control? I guess? That was odd. <laughs> oh, that's use. Okay, that's actually a good design. So look, when you're low on, when you've gotten pretty low on the gems list, an arrow points you to the re remain ones. You know, like sparks, kind of like how sparks directs you to gems. So when you're when you're almost done collecting the gems, there's a marker that appears to help you find the remainders. See, this is exactly what I mean. This is kind of a low-budget game, but there's a bit of soul put into this. And that kind of demonstrates what I mean. Like, that, that's a demonstration of, hey, somebody cares. A primary sparks is you have to ask at a point to jump. True, one could argue- oh, I guess we left. I missed one gem. I guess because I got all the stars that kicked me out. Hey there, Roxy! It isn't important enough to stop Donna. You need to look good doing it, too. That's very important to Fashion Souls. If you collect all the magical gems in the world, I can use them to create a new outfit for you. Cool, then maybe you should have kicked me out before I had finished collecting the last gem. I hope they stay collected. Be sure to keep your eye out, as I believe you may find some extra cosmetics hidden within these worlds as well. Yep. You do realize you kicked me out before I could collect the last gem, right? <laughs> well, let me go back in. <laughs> Now let's uh, let's see. Does it keep the gems you've collected, or do I have to recollect them all? Well, I don't see any gems. I think they stay collected. Oh bugger! I lost the arrow telling me where the last one is. <laughs> Shut up. Go away, Nicky. Nicky. <laughs> Alright, so it's a matter of, uh, figuring out where the last gem went. <laughs> maybe the chest is the end goal, the other stars are optional? I mean, maybe. I'll leave the, the, the chest for last in the future. I like... No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was, like, thinking about where the arrow last pointed. Uh, different crystal. Cool. 
Well, there we go then. Uh, how do I leave? Maybe I gotta grab the chest again to leave. Can I avoid this raccoon? Don't talk to me. Thank you. Yeah, the camera just unlocks for a bit. And then eventually I get it back. There we go. Odd. It looks like you're right. I think the chest is how you end the level. Alright, then just save the chest for last. Yeah, honestly, this 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 gives me good vibes, actually. This gives me low budget, high high heart game vibes. You know, kinda like the story is a little bit like, oh, it's kinda just thrown at you, but it, you ever read like a fan fiction story, just a story online, and it's some and some it's clearly not the best written story, but you can tell there's a lot of passion put into it. That kind of is what I feel here. Okay, where was the shop I unlocked? Why is that fire hydrant just going nuts? All right. Um. Ah, oh, here it is. Hello, I'd like to shop or something. Daring Dom's Whimsical Wares! <laughs> Alright, sure. What the hell is this? Okay, I got- I got- okay, I'll wear the sleeping cap, I suppose. Achievement unlocked! One cute cub! Oh, that's- <laughs> Silly- that's a silly achievement to help. <laughs> well, we are ready for nappies, I suppose. <laughs> we have a sleeping cap. Nobody wears those anymore, they're just in fiction now. <laughs> Stunning streets! <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Actually, it makes sense the chest is the last objective because it kind of shows up before they go to the level. Oh, is it a wizard hat? I thought it was like a sleeping cat. Oh no! The witch started a car! Shit! She helped somebody with, with their vehicle maintenance. What an evil act. <laughs> Roxy, should you ever find yourself in danger, we can safely return to you one of these power stones. Using the witch- Watch out! There's a van! Okay. Which I was very worried for a moment. Wait, I'm sorry, why did that get blocked? Automod, is there a reason Automod did that? What is this song? Is this the- is this the cop's theme song? Kinda sounds like it is. Alright, see this. Not get run over in the process. I know. Okay, I got this. Oh no, I can't tell what's a gem, what's a coin. <laughs> ah! Is it? Well, if it is, then I guess keep it banned, I suppose. I wouldn't get Parker in trouble though, because that's not that was not our usage that we intended, of course. <laughs> Ugh, that's always annoying, man. When a word is, you know... I'm gonna drown now, bye. Oh god! Nice Camaro, but oh my god, don't run me over. It's surprisingly hard to get these coins. You have to be kind of pixel perfect with the jumps. See, since it is only keyboard controls, I can't control my jump height by pressing the button lighter because, you know, it's on keyboard, so. Ooh, special trash! Oh. Why is there like a... That's just a wind effect or like a... I thought there was a zip line there. Oh, where's the term against? Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. What is. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I, I like how I'm just collecting stag gems and then I run into this. All these gems just sitting around, then this gem's going, Wee! Woo! 
Alright, stop that. You can't have fun. <laughs> hey, Roxy! We need to refine your climbing skills! Let's see if you can beat my record for climbing to the, to the rooftop! And back! I'm back? Okay, sure. Oh, jumping off pipes is weird feeling. Uh oh. Where is he? I don't know where he went. Oh, he's behind the blue truck car, right? Ha! I knew you couldn't do it. I'm still the champ. We're trying to arrest an evil witch. Why are we? Why are we challenging our? Because it's a collectathon, so there's got to be innate shit you do while you're trying to actually accomplish your end goal. But that's what makes it fun, to be fair. It's it's okay, Parker. It's an understandable mistake. What really sucks is how many words get corrupted by assholes, effectively. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of words out there that, you know, have innocuous meanings, but thanks to some jerks, now those words are, like, very, very bad to use, effectively. Ah, oh, I made it. Wow, you're getting faster every day! I'll have to keep practicing. Yes, you will. And I guess for my part, I'm sorry for saying the word. Obviously, I was using it for its innocuous original meaning, but, you know, for anybody who possibly could get offended by that, yeah. Actually, there's several innocuous uses of the word. I think it also means a type of outfit, if I recall. Um, so... It sucks that there's just like so many. I get. I get. I've honestly, in the process of doing streaming, I have learned more and more. Fucking murder it. Murder it. Oh, it got stuck. Oh, I had a chance right there. It got stuck for a second. That'd be hard to catch it this time. I have to jump the steps. It feels like the only way to catch the bunny realistically is to cut it off. It's just one annoying bunny to catch otherwise. Dang it. Are you supposed to be able to turn? You, you can't. So probably not. I have to just cut it off. The best place to do it is right here. Damn it. What's up? That pesky witch has cursed some donuts and is planning on using them to mind control the local police! Go get those donuts so we can restore them back to normal. Be careful, you those are giant donuts. You run out of full speed while carrying items, so stealth is the key. So while I carry donuts, I won't be able to run at full speed. I guess we're eating them. Fatness. Okay. Literally the only way I know how to catch these rab this rabbit is to cut him cut him off. I just gotta get the right angle. I can still shorten it as a as so Wait, what? Hold on, I'm curious about sign language. What did you guys say? This code is going about to speak in sign language, which is all words are banned. Yeah. Wait, what are we saying we could shorten to rack? Wait, are we saying that raccoon's a bad word now? Oh my god, what? Oh, I see. I mean, alright, I'm just saying raccoon. I was very confused there for a moment, you're saying, oh, no, raccoon's a slur, too. Like, what? <laughs> that was that would have been news to me. Mm. 
I don't know how you're realistically supposed to catch this bunny without kind of shortcutting it. Ah, fair enough. I, I really hate... Can I just say I hate people? Not like you people, but like... I just hate people that corrupt and ruin perfectly usable words. Like, why Why the fuck can, Why the fuck does it have to be that slurs have more power in these situations? I hate that. I hate the fact that slurs have power like that. I mean, the fear is, I hate people really an unrealistic statement. <laughs> oh god. Well... Well, at least they called the police on the guy who ran me over. <laughs> I just tried to set up for the buddy. Wait, I'm sorry. It's... This yield sign says, GIVE WAY! GIVE WAY! Okay. Don't yield, give way. It's like make way, but... More altruistic, I guess? Okay, well... I'm never gonna catch this body. How the fuck am I supposed to do this, realistically? Just keep in mind, like, I can't... Yeah, I can't turn while doing this run. You think you could, but no. Wait, oh, if I jump, I can kind of turn. Kind of. Kind of. Barely. Oh god. I probably should have got to run over again there. Ah! Hold on. I think it's better to chase it clockwise. I think. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out the best position for this. I think it's this. No! Yeah, that's the right position, but... Okay. Like, I just... I need to cut it off, but it's also possible to cut it off too for forward and miss it that way. I'm sorry? How did you know? You immediately reacted to me going that direction and turned around. Okay, the worst thing about this game is this fucking rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I'm sorry, you just went to the next corner? Alright, bye. I'm just trying to set him up in that one corner. What, what was that about? <laughs> okay. See that shit? I almost had something there. Perhaps I'm supposed to sneak up of him? I don't know, man. <laughs> no, no. Ugh. Damn it. Can you drop on them? Why do I feel like they'll just move before I land on them? I'd like to say decent suggestion, but I have a feeling it won't be. No, 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 no. What did you? All right. How about for an hour where we chase a buddy for 30 minutes? I know that what I'm doing is probably the most potentially possible route, but God damn it isn't frustrating. <laughs> yes! Fuck you! I really do hate rabbits now, what the hell? <laughs> turning is not I don't think turning is allowed for this. I have not been able to turn when doing the threat. It's Except for when I jump, I have a little bit of turning, but very, very minor. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, okay. It's a really thin hitbox, if you're wondering that. I was thinking that you could probably just stand on the set of three wires, but no. Okay. Okay. That would be a bit pixel perfect, turns out. <laughs> we found the jank area, I suppose so. No, I wanna... No, turn that way, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why, but she also turned on her own accord the wrong direction, so... Fun times. That's fine, I was done there. Oh, pat! Or trash, I suppose. That, was that just for a secret trash can? Wait. No. I thought the pipe looked suspicious. Alright, I guess that was just for the trash, I suppose. That's weird. I thought these uh, secret trash cans always led to hats, but maybe not. Game? Alright. I was having trouble jumping back in. Alright, let's look around for more... ...goodies. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, this area does feel a little bit jank on its uh, hitboxes, but... Oh well! Was that just a random teleport? Okay, sure. Huh. Well, I guess if the map's really big, that could be useful. Wait, why is the windshield bouncy? Man, I sure love when they start making those rubber windshields, guys. Really safe. You know, like a rock's coming through your windshield. Nope, just bounces back. Yeah, you got, you got, you got, you ever see how you're on the road and you got one of those annoying like, big old trucks are just carrying, like, a load of rocks without any sort of, like, cover. I've seen that before. Yeah, those rocks, they just drop out of the back and they can just hit your car and dig it up. Well, not if you have a rubber windshield. That rock gets sent right on back to them and they learn a lesson. <laughs> Why are you hanging out with the sparks? It's a good thing we're such good climbers, or else there'd be no way you could reach that chest. Oh, there's the in-level chest. Okay. By the way, Dom... You really should stand a little further away from the thing that can electrocute you, but, you know. It's up to you, I guess. <laughs> Gave the chest last, but... Yeah, this level's a little tedious because climbing around to grab these things, it's a little slow. Oh! You stick to the wires when you do land on them. That's why the character face, it's, oh, that's why the character auto faces. Because you actually stick to the, okay, that makes it a little easier to walk on those, now that I know that. Once you manage to land on a wire, you actually do stick to it. So. It's just until you actually land on the wire, it's actually kind of tricky. Alright, one more magical trash bag. I 
I feel like there's way too many gems at this level. <laughs> I could be using the sprint more, but as I mentioned, you can't really turn with it, so... It's of limited use for me, I feel. Also, if you're wondering why I'm jumping, I can't really look up. Well, okay, I can... I can go first person to look up, but the easier way to look up is just jump, so I get more of my camera upwards. <laughs> Point. Oh, I missed a gem over there. Ah! I'm fine. Pizza. Oh! I think I was turning down that road, but he juked. The jewelry store explode? What do you mean? That's where that teleport took me. All right. Oh, there's also still the roof area, but I'm not worried about it just yet. I'll go up there in a bit. In a bit, but bounce. Seriously, it's quite the bounce. Oh, there are gems everywhere. Oh, fair enough. I thought- I took that very literally for some reason. I was like, oh, I didn't see a jewelry store. Was there a jewelry store that was, like, blown open and I could enter it? That was, that was where my brain went with that. Hooray! We look back to the start of the level. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel like a bit of jank, but at least I can like move left and right on the pipes to readjust where I'm climbing up towards. Okay, now it's a hunt around here, I guess. Yeah, I feel like the scope of this level is a bit tedious. Had to check for any gems along this drop. Maybe that would have been a good place for the first person camera, actually. <laughs> Achieve been unlocked, not some trash panda. I think we kind of are, though. That is always a good term for raccoons. I like that term. It's amusing. Oh. Apparently I just missed the street. Oh, that's right. There's also the donut mission, wherever that is. Oh, I missed a lot of gems here, actually. Ah, <laughs> I wish I would the raccoon would stab to one of the wires when I jumped across like that. There we go. Whoa! How did I land that jump? That was uh, it's kind of leap. There we go. Nice. I'll do the donut mission in a minute. Ah! 
Unfortunately, I'm almost done with this gym collection, which... Quite honestly, I didn't mind the gym collection of level 1, but this level? Oh my, this has been tedious. There's just a lot of nooks and crannies for these things to hide. Aha. Uh -huh. But however, I did just find the rest of them. <laughs> On that note, I am I do appreciate the arrow, but the arrow literally seems to show up once you're down to the last five or so. There we go. Now I am a little wondering, like I found a hat in the so I I earned a hat by collecting all the gems in level 1, but level 1 also had a secret hat to find. Which kind of makes me wonder if there's a secret hat to find here as well. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> well, you know what I can do? Taco! Eat it. I shall be set for the winter. Taco. Taco. Alright, now let's see. Which NPC do I have to talk to for the donut mission? Was it you? No, not you. Five dollar taco. Taco. Hibernation mode. You can hibernate for a very long time after you talk about that size. I'm sorry, why did that... <laughs> it, I intimidated that bit of uh, traffic protection. It fell over before I even got close to it. That was impressive. Yeah, I believe the NPC needs to be talked to. Because I died, remember, so it deactivated, probably. Because cars are dangerous. Question is, which NPC was it? Was it this one? <laughs> yes. I thought it's fine. They cannot outmaneuver me. Aha! Uh -huh. Follow me, guys. I judge and juke you because you are just police. <laughs> I can't get the I can't get the donuts, but I'm sure I'm juking them. Ha <laughs> ha! Invisible walls, fools! <laughs> All right, now what? <laughs> Let's see. I got him, I guess. Okay, cool. I knew you could do it. Now I can rest easy. You're already resting easy. Thanks for helping, by the way. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I don't know where... Slash if... There is a, uh... Secret hat here, but... Let me just grab this, I guess. Well, if it's a good little game, it'll it'll have some sort of indicator on the hub world, right? See, gem, star, chests... That clues me in that I have everything, right? So, gem, star, chests... Then again, the uh, park didn't really have an icon for the secret hat, I suppose. So, shrug. Now, oh, what are you doing? This foolish girl doesn't realize that us raccoons are expert climbers! Sure to explore this area, I'll venture forth and venture forth wherever we can. Okay, I'll explore up here then. Oh, oh, I can climb up here. I don't think this was an option before. Alright. Riveting rooftops. Oh, the next level's up here. But what's over there? I wonder how long this game is.
Well, well, a traffic cone. The best hat. You can get him free for roadsides. You know, there's a soccer ball here. Hectic Highway. So I go to Hectic Highway or I can go to the rooftops? Hectic! Do I want to get run over more? Hmm. Alright, let's see here. Well, obviously traffic cone. That's the best hat. <laughs> see, now people will be careful on the road. They won't run me over because they'll see the traffic cone. They'll be oh, I need to avoid that. <laughs> see, it's very safe that way. Is there a soccer net around here, though? Seriously. Because if there is, I bet that's a secret as well. So clearly the hub has secrets, so I guess I'll look around. Nope, nothing in the darkness. Oh yeah, Chris, <laughs> did the same joke as you. Yep, pretty much. I mean, hopefully. They won't, but, you know. It's a nice thought, if nothing else. Alright, I don't see much else to do here. I don't see any nets, so I guess let's go to Hectic Highway. I don't know, I'm enjoying this game. It's a silly little game. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm enjoying it. Oh. What's she doing here? I, was, I like how we always get a cutscene of the witch doing something. Oh no, she flooded the city. Actually, finally she did something that's actually evil. It's not, oh no, she kicked a soccer ball, or oh no, she started somebody's car. Now it's, she flooded the city. That's that's actually evil. Okay, good work. The curse is starting to spread further out into the human world. Watch out for those mechanical monstrosities. Yes, the curse, the biggest curse are cars. I agree. I like how they made a highway very, very, oh god, how am I gonna... Excuse me, excuse me. This is how it feels to be an animal on the highway. So I probably should go with the flow traffic, but screw that. It's only 75 gems. At least people aren't driving that fast. I mean, if this was a real highway, it'd be like... Vroom. So at least we could count our blessings there. This level seems less focused on exploration, more focused on challenge. Donuts. I appreciate that side. Also, just just stay, just keep it easy. There's spaces. There's spaces. There's always spaces. There's spaces. There's always spaces, man. Give me that chip. Give it. Give me the chip. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of. You know what's the hardest thing though? Turns. So then you have to actually predict where they're gonna turn. Uh. Fun fact about me in real life. Actually, I have to talk to this guy. The witches poisoned the gas cans in order to power these mechanical nightmares. Get them and bring them back to me so we can prevent her from fueling her path to destruction. Global warming message. <laughs> J dot e P e P N G. I don't know. Uh, hi, Clivus. Yes, I can. Uh, uh, anyways, what I was going to say. Fun fact about me. I actually hate traveling, like, down sidewalks. Or, even worse, when there's no sidewalk. I don't like traveling down roads of cars. Even if there is a sidewalk, I don't like traveling down busy roads. I always, I know the cars are just passing by me, but I always feel like they're gonna hit me. I don't like- I have a- I am very- I've got OCD as well as some other things about me that effectively make me hypersensitive to noise, sounds, sights, etc. So, cars passing right by me, it kind of puts down a shiver down my spine, honestly. It's like- I know they're probably not going to hit me unless somebody just veered off the road, of course, but nonetheless, it, it, it it's kind of goosebumps to even have a car pass me because I it's like, here's a giant pile of metal d darting past me. That, that's not a good feeling, yo. <laughs> Impressive work, Roxy. If only could stop the ones already on the road. <laughs> Don't worry, a rocket launcher will help that. <laughs> 
Oh, don't even get me started with crossing roads. I always feel intimidated by doing that. I always feel like sprinting myself, yeah. Cards? Okay. So, am I on a time limit with this? I think I bought a time limit with this. Alright. Oh god, they have a small hitbox. Shit. Ah! I knew I'd run over at some point. I hit a checkpoint though, so it's not a big deal. There's a giant light and a very small card in the middle of that light! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Am I just collecting the tarot cards? What am I doing here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, it's fine. There, I got it. I guess I got the witch's evil magic book that causes cars and flooding. I'm not sure which is worse, cars or flooding. Probably the cars. Oh! Ho -ho! Don't mind me, I'm just gonna bounce off the side of your hood. Um, wait, did I see a gem there? It's over there, okay. Stop. Oh. Uh oh. Don't be concerned by a witch floating in the air. It's a wolf. Oh no, it's evil. That's a spirit wolf. Is it a Shadox? It's even green. Even got a green glow, huh? Hmm. Watch out for Willy! The curse has taken him over, and he has gone wild! Well, if he is a Shadox, we better watch out. He'll probably eat us. Uh. Go over here first, though. Hi. Well, I'm surprised we didn't go wild because we got magic too. Be my time down the highway. Don't get hit. This isn't a safe. This isn't a safe place to race, Tricky. But okay. Oh no, I'm gonna be demanded to dash here, aren't I? Uh. Dash, 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 dash. Nice work, get out one piece. Keep it up. Okay, it required a little dash. Ah! <laughs> what both ways? Uh, uh, it's fine. I'll, I'll deal with the wolf in a minute. I have more gems to find first. Actually, do I? Or have I found all the gems in this section? Kinda looks like I have. Oh yeah, let's start the level. Whoa! Chicken! Right. You're faster than the cars when dashing. I've got a better engine. <laughs> What's this? City life coming soon! Oh wow, Willie sounds kinda distressed actually. That is a distressed howl, if I've ever heard one. Ah. The problem with the corners is I don't know what lane cars are turning in. I don't, and they turn very quickly. Or well, there's the end chest. There's Willy. Kinda, it's kinda just howling. I don't know. Oh. Hi. What? Oh no, I'm howling too. dead. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Let's try to find the, follow the arrow. Wait, 
what? Really? Like, they hid no gems up on lampposts for most of this level. But then that gem was just on a lamppost. Alright, so I guess a few of them do have. Also, I, th I think the wolf's a boss fight. I think I gotta get him run over by cars or something. Because I think I got hit by a car off screen. I heard a sound. Guy, like, not going that way, apparently. Oh. Current goal? Uh oh, he's, he's skating on me. Uh. I'm actually not faster than the cars. You you were not telling the truth. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah. Alright, now let's fight the wolf, I guess. Soup. No, that's the beginning of the level. Wait. Well, okay, I got run over. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just confused why there's suddenly invisible walls. I guess because boss fight? Alright, come on over. Let's get you run over by a car or something. I don't know. Oh no, he barked at me. I was wondering how he would destroy me. So the answer is bark. Wee. Let's play in traffic. We, 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 fun. Where's all the traffic? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just kind of ran into that himself. <laughs> you know, he has a bad turning ratio. It's fine. Whoa. Never mind. <laughs> he got run over anyways. <laughs> did I win or did I lose? I guess I lost. Like how he gets knocked back all every time. Whoop. Sometimes he gets really good at turning. I don't I think when he slows down he's good at turning. There we go. Oh no! We all won and lost. Oh, I got I got it though! I got it. One wild wolf. Achieve it unlocked. Oh, he has glowy paws. Oh, he's good. I think he'll be okay. <laughs> Actually, let's look at the achievements list. That'll give us an idea of how long the game is, because I think you kind of get achievements for being certain things. Oh, there's actually a lot of achievements here. Collect all the gems on 15 levels. Oh, 15 levels? We've only played three. Oh, there's quite a bit of game here, actually. Well, maybe this is a, it's a, it is a little bit of a low budget game, and maybe this is worth another howl. What do you guys think? This could be a casual playthrough. I saved him. Well done, young cub. It is often said 
the big things come in small packages and you may grow to be the biggest of all. But then I wouldn't be a big thing in a small package. I'd be a big thing in a big package. Rar, rar. This game is, it's not, it's not perfect. This is kind of one of those games where, this is kind of one of those games that I jive with because it's one of those games where it's like, it's not a triple A title. It's not highly anticipated. And it's not exactly good enough to be what I, what you would consider a hidden gem. Oh, he's, he's hanging out in the overworld now. Hello. Oh, all right. Well, bye. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's not like some AAA title. It's not like some popular thing people uh, know about. And it's not a bad game by any means, but it's not really good enough to really get on people's radar, this is the perfect game for me to play because it's one of those things that other people probably won't. I don't know, I haven't looked this up on YouTube, I don't know if there's any 100% playthroughs on YouTube, there could be. There's always some niche channels that cover weird things like this, but um, I always like doing stuff like this because it's it's something that otherwise really just doesn't get coverage for the most part. But I like this game too. It's not perfect, but I can tell it's got some whole, some actual soul. And, oh, hey, look at this. Oh. These icons are completely misaligned, but this tells me useful information. <laughs> uh, so, th okay, this is slightly misaligned, but basically stars, uh, collecting all the gems, collecting all the stars, and collecting the hats. So, it looks like I was correct, and Stunning Streets and Hectic Highway do have hats I haven't collected because I don't have the paw prints for them. Or that could just mean there aren't any. I mean, I imagine I would want to put a paw print there. I don't know, though. Not really sure how it works. Perhaps I will open another level, leave it, and see if do we get some extra, like, grayed out icons or something to clue me in. Uh, regardless, though, you probably would be the first hundred percent for this game. I, I may consider that, then. Let's go back to the title screen, though. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, I appreciate, uh, Cinemot Studios, I appreciate the, uh, guy sent me a key thinking I would like it. Cause, you know what? He was right. I would, I do, this is sort of my jam. This is one of those things that fits my niche pretty well. Um, I would like to another how this, so I will do so at a, uh, semi-later date. I don't think it'll take me that long to get around to this one. Another how is a weird, is a weird series. It's kind of something I do when I feel, don't feel like doing other things, so, sort of a, uh, buffer that I go back to old games, but nonetheless, it is something I will put on the docket. Um, this is pretty good. It's not really amazing. I can tell this is a, a bit asset flipped, I think. Um, I can also tell that it's not perfect. There's, there's some jank to the controls, like how the sprint doesn't really let you turn that well and stuff like that, but there, it, it honestly does control overall pretty okay. And I do, I do have to say, the thing that makes this game work, in my opinion, is that every level we went to has something different going on, and I appreciate that. There's a fair bit of variety here, um, and while the story is a little silly, kind of, in a, kind of, uh, kind of feels like amateur storytelling, sort of. I still kind of find it really charming in in, in how it's presented. Um, I like it. I like seeing what happens at each little level, in, start of level cutscene, and I like seeing what the levels are doing. Even if it is acid flipped, uh, which I don't know if it is or not, mind you, but even if it is acid flipped, there are, there's still a good variety going on with what's going on in different environments and such, and the different mechanics in each level. So yeah, honestly, this is a pretty solid game. Definitely something that just will slip under most people's radar, but definitely worth a play if you don't mind the fact that it's not like super duper high quality and polished. Um, I like this. That was uh, Roxy Raccoon. And yeah, we'll come back to this uh, soon enough, I'd say. Good times.